This segment is sponsored by McCaffrey Health Center. Well, medicine is getting into genetic testing in a big way. Studies are showing gene testing can provide patients with health clues when a health issue comes their way. Here to talk more about this in our Wellness Wednesday segment, Dr. Sean McCaffrey. Good morning, Doc. Good morning. Well, gene testing, let's get right into it. What happens when you get your genes tested? And we're not talking about the, right. the genes you wear. Let's <laughs> make sure that's clear, first of all. Very true, very true. Uh, you know, it's kind of the new darling right now of, of fads and trends and things for people to do. Uh, you can do it a number of different ways. You can do it through blood. You can do it through saliva. They can do hair samples. They can do tissue samples. Uh, there's different purposes for why they do it, but those are really the key ways to do it. You order a kit. You can do a lot of it at home. Unless it's blood, you'll have to have that drawn somewhere. Mm -hmm. Send it off and you're done. So when you send off a saliva sample or some other samples other than blood mm -hmm. in these home kits, and you hear these uh, different ancestry type oh, yeah. places yep. have that as well, that they're uh, doing the DNA testing. When you send it off, how long does it typically take to get the results back? You know, it depends on what you're after. So if you're just doing a simple home test one, usually three to five days, they'll have that turned around and done for you. Mm -hmm. If you're getting into more of the, uh, I guess, the medical side of things, it can take upwards of four. If you do crime lab DNA, it can take 14 days or so, but really inside two weeks and you're getting your results back. Right, and I would imagine that the, uh, the blood testing is a little more involved because it probably gets a little more detailed as far as trying to find specific things from a medical standpoint. So let's talk about that. Mm -hmm. When What kind of results do you get from gene testing? You know, it's not as glorified as we'd like to make it out to be. You know, the, the companies, the main companies that are out there right now doing the work, uh, when they're doing DNA tests, they're doing things of this nature, especially the home ones. Mm -hmm. uh, their initial market was, hey, who's your grandma? Who's your grandpa? What's mm -hmm. your answer? And that was cool. That's kind of neat, right? It's fun. Uh, then they started getting into the health side of things. And they started saying, well, you know, we can tell if you're going to have potential for breast cancer. You're going to have potential for this or that. It's very sketchy uh, because there's so many other factors that play a role in this, you know, and that's one of the things that people have to be very, very careful with. When you do genetic testing or you're doing DNA testing and things of this nature, you have to understand that DNA is nothing but a blueprint. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a library book. If you never open the book, it will sit on your shelf forever and do nothing. And that's the biggest key when understanding DNA and how genes work. The percentage of people that have a genetic defect, a noticeable genetic defect, is somewhere between 2 to 4% of the Earth's population. So you got a 96 to 98 percent chance you don't have anything wrong in that yeah. family. So you just got to be careful with it. So what you really want to focus on is really how do I know if I'm influencing a genetic weakness? Am I feeding my bear? Am I eating into my weakness? And that's really what the secret is. Okay, so these in, uh, results are important to a patient from that standpoint of trying to, if they do see something there of, of that may be a little red flag potentially, to avoid those behaviors or lifestyles. Right, you know, and, and the key to it is, is understanding what that would be, right? So one of the things they get in trouble with is when they say, oh my gosh, you have potential for breast cancer or your child could have potential for this or that genetically. It could be one in a billion chance. And you know, certain, depending on where the, the doctors are at this time and their knowledge base and what each individual hospital's doing, mm -hmm. sometimes they make not such good suggestions. Yeah. Now, like, oh my gosh, you could have a problem. Now your, your, <laughs> your medical center does offer a test. Tell us about that. We do, we do an IUP. It's an integrated urinalysis panel and it's considered an epigenetic profile. Epigenetics means above the gene. So it is how is your environment and your choices, lifestyle choices, dietary choices, the world we live in, influencing your weaknesses, your genetics. So having the gene doesn't mean that much. How you influence it though could be a big deal. So you want to try, hey, if I know I got this gene potentially for this problem, don't feed that problem. And that's what the IUP tells you. This urine test actually tells you how you're feeding that bear. All right, very good information. Sean McCaffrey is always from McCaffrey Family Health. Uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, all those places you can find you out on the internet. Everywhere, everywhere. All right, very good. Stay with us. We're coming right back on Good Day Marketplace.